bombs down. Yes, they do. There's gonna be a silence for my already getting a lot of movement speed from the thirst. The MPH is gonna get purged off, but do they have a salve? No, they don't. They already used both of those. And we now see the strength of this uh, offlane duo of RBGs. They're gonna use the glyph. Now they're diving. There's gonna be a stun, but Hall already gets some among die in the mid lane, but young PH will fall. Army Geniuses are gonna be a little bit mad about that. Lung comes in, wants to pull those creeps back, but he might be in some trouble as well now. He's getting chased here by Womai, who really doesn't have that much movement speed from the Thirst, and Oracle will damage. Let's see if Army Geniuses can do something about it. With a uh, Siege Creep here. Okay, here comes Womai. He's aware that he needs to defend this as much as possible. Just a second, Ruby coming from the side. He has a lift at the uh, Fate Bolt. Oh, taking some damage, but the Blood Rite won't connect. You gain some trouble. One more hit. He's gonna be going down. Do they have anything to cancel the DP? No, they don't. Skill A, a beautiful play coming that uses the Ward Lun. He really wanted the skill, but won't be getting it, and now the Purifying Flames will heal the Lion. So, uh, MPH, he's 100% uh, sure that they can persist through all of this. They have the Hex. No, they don't, but let's get silenced. Not using the Hex just yet. We'll turn him into a frog, and he'll never be going back to uh, his normal form. Now, UK in some trouble. He's gonna use the disruption skill lay with the nice body blocks. To make sure that uh, UK stays here. He's just trying to defend the tower. He just wants to be a good support, but it's not gonna be allowed. Look we'll at a kill him. Now DP is in. Ha is there. He's gonna cover for skill. Be certain that he survives. He did fall, force out the false promise. Now just pinging out the Roche. Is this really a good go right now from Army Geniuses? The Huskar is rotating as well. Doesn't have that BKB just yet. His Mithril Hammer is coming. They just need the uh, the recipe. Is this really a good go? Now they're gonna catch him. Pango later. Go in with the finger. The silence will be there. And Pango will definitely be going down. Where the lucky shot? They're not gonna be there. Lion gets the kill in the end. Now Womai getting gone on the uh, ulti being used by the DP UK. We'll try to use the disruption. Not no such luck will come. Nice usage there of the blood right then of the earth spike with that. They're going to have to get away. Among that, thinking of finishing this throw, it's actually quite low considering you're playing against the exorcism. You could be in quite a lot of trouble right now. No finger on the side of army geniuses. A good time to fight for Yang on for sure. Among that though, this guy is pretty stacked. He hasn't been doing much uh, hero damage in this game, but they're coming. They're actually chasing the Rubik. They, uh, they've had enough of him just out pushing lanes. I think that now he's gonna get caught. There's a blink from lane with a follow up for a spike, and they just delete him immediately. This whole catcher doing so much damage here from UK, and this Rubik never. I mean, this is they're actually uh, taking control of the whole enemy jungle. Mumang Dag super hard here. Gonna get uh, disarmed by the. Pango still has that BKB. Can they burst him down? Here comes the Rolling Thunder. They're not gonna go for it. Does he have a blink on the side of Pango? No, he doesn't. Going for a Lotus and then he wants to blink. Uh, I can't say I agree with this. With that, they cancel the uh, initiate on this Husk car and burst, burst him down. If he's in the fight, they're dishing out the damage. They're gonna be in a lot of trouble though. BKB ready on the DP, so she can definitely survive. Coming with the smoke, it's gonna be smoke with the smoke action. Lun, not in a good spot. Here comes a monk die. They're gonna go in a beautiful silence there from the DP. They turn around. Here comes the rolling thunder. We can be used by the Oscar. He turns around. Not with that profit. That profit taking so much damage. Oracle T. Who did it go for? It didn't go onto the DP. DP is falling quite low, but it won't be going down. Among die. Now he turns around, but they're losing this fight. Okay, they do get the Oracle down. He used the ulti on himself. Now the BL starting to overwhelm them. Or his team among die. Just way too strong right now with the Mjolnir on him. Everyone has to run away. This DP, she did survive, but Woma. He's super fast. He's gonna go on to Ha. The Yules will be ready fairly soon. Now Shikuchi being stolen by the Rubik and he gets this poor Weaver onto the high ground who will immediately DP down. Deep quite low. Skill A could be some trouble. No Weaver. He's gonna go into the back line. He does have the axe. Does he have the axe uh, shard? Does he? The silence onto the Zorin. He's immediately gonna get purged off by the Oracle. Beautifully done. He's going for the Swarm Buckle. The Crypt Swarm will deter Army Geniuses and they won't be going in anymore. Yules onto the Huskar, he has the BKB one more time, the silence will be there, also with a uh, stun, he gets lifted up, maybe they can kill the Huskar, and it seems like Yasm among that finally falls, now they're going in, Disruption doing so much damage to the Pango, will stop the Rolling Thunder, here comes the stun from the line, and the pure damage will be enough, no it won't, but the finger will, now a stolen Rupture, onto the Bloodseeker, immediately BKB trying to DP out, they're not going anywhere, Young PH hits way too hard, now UK trying to run away, do they have the Yules, yes they can, he's gonna go with the... Vanish on this DP, but in the end, the UK will follow as well. And that's three heroes dead for army geniuses, just like that. 10 seconds before the roll spawns. If Yang gonna take this, it's pretty much game over for army geniuses, though. DB, he still wants to be a nuisance here, considering the damage he's doing. You're gonna die for sure. They go in for the roach. The exorcism has been used. Army geniuses, are you really gonna let this happen? They're actually quite far off, especially with the Weaver. They're gonna use the scan. They know exactly where they are. But Yang on Galacticos, they're getting it quite low. They're gonna use the blood right now. No, the roach is low. It's gonna connect, but only on the DB. Use the 
TP right now, but what do Womai? They will use that stolen raptor who can take his Womai. He's gonna be able to snatch it. It's a disaster for Yandor Galacticos. Ulti from the Oracle onto the DP. Now DP going in. He's gonna turn onto the Oracle. He's gonna try to hide, but that's not gonna be happening. I have an axe shard. Skill layer. Wanna run away? This time, that's not gonna happen. That Prophet in some trouble. is gonna get healed by the Spirits. Pango trying to TP away. Will be successful. With the smoke, they uh, get the outpost on the bottom lane. It won't matter that much, at least not in terms of experience. Army geniuses, they're expecting the enemies to come. No one will be coming just yet. Mamangda going for the Mjolnir as well. He just wants to increase the damage output on these illusions. And PL, I'm not sure Young PH, he is strong, but uh, playing against three Mjolnirs as a PL is not going to be easy. Now they go in, they're going to go in with the axe onto the bank layer. Will they have enough to kill him? They're going with the Glimmer KP. He didn't use the Lilith. That's the official play. But gets returned there. He can go for the ulti. Will be able to get himself out. Who's taking damage in the back is the line, but Hall. He's getting quite low. He's gonna use the cheese very nice down there in the back line. So another guy is dead. But they managed to kill the DP. Mamang Dai getting slowed down. That's the stolen ulti from the uh, from the Shadow Demon. Now Skill in some trouble trying to get away. That Glimmer Cape is no good here now. Mamang Dai going in. He's actually quite strong. Gonna use the inner fire. Gets him away from himself. Will he be turning around? Yes, he will. But he's gonna get this arm. He's really not doing that much damage. DP going in. There's gonna be a buyback from the Oracle. And now Womai in some trouble as well with the lift from the bought back Rubik. They're gonna get the kill. This uh, Weaver going on to the Rubik. Has to run away right now, but the Fortune's End is there, and they get a nice fight going for themselves. Young PH, in the end, he will overwhelm them in the fight. He had to get out for once, but the heart Provan Braxis. Let's see if Young PH wants to go for more. It seems like that's gonna be the case. They're here with all five heroes. No Exorcism just yet, but might just be able to take two of these. Uh, Raxis, Young PH taking some damage here from the Soul Catcher, but he's gonna be fine. Healing quite a lot here. Nice disruption there. We'll save their uh, Bloodseeker. Does have the BKB? He'll use it immediately. No Raptor right now, so Zorain can go uh, use something as much as he wants. Look at the damage on the PL. He's gonna be dying immediately. That Lotus Orb actually did so much to him. Can they kill Blood? They don't have vision over him, and Lion is not gonna be there, so at least they get the PL. Won't be uh, too happy by not getting anything more and lose the two lanes of Rax, actually. Nope, bottom lane, they're about fighting, the leveler we get found, that's the second item that they found here, definitely an advantage for army geniuses, who might could be in trouble, here comes it all with a lift, oh nice disruption as well, it's gonna get stolen now by the Rubik, they turn around on the young page, they use the Mickey Meal on the blood seeker, they turn around, young page takes so much damage, but the stolen disruption will be there, now the death prophet running in, does have the A on this, he's doing some ton of damage, blood seeker will use the refresh shot, beautiful stun there, BL taking so much damage, there's the pistol blade, but the Yules onto the Weaver, it's gonna keep them away, the Oracle is already dead, and now, in the back lines, Mamang Dai is doing so much damage. He's gonna get the DP onto the high ground, but he turned around onto the PL. The bug is still on him, trying to get away. The Manta, that won't help you, and in the end, he dies. Army Geniuses, they get three. Skill A trying to run away, as well as uh, the DP. The Exorcism will run out quite soon. Does have a TP, immediately goes for it. Can they get her down? Nope. He manages to TP away, and the Rubik will be out too. Not rotating at all. This, is, this could be dangerous. If they're fighting without the Weaver, they won't really have anything to deal with those uh, Invis items. Only one sentry onto the Shadow Demon, they're gonna use the ward here, UK in some good position, we are coming over, they're gonna get the lift onto the Huskar, immediate disruption, it's gonna save him, it's gonna get stolen immediately, nicely done by the Rubik, one more time, Among Dai, look at how aggressively he's going in, he's gonna get bashed up, but Among Dai turns around onto the PL, he's actually winning this fight, their spike will not connect, Womai coming in, they want to go onto the PL, will they be able to kill him, no they won't, he kills the Huskar in the end, he does die, doesn't have a buyback right now, he used up all of his gold and the Weaver, now he's free to do whatever he wants in the fight, Womai getting quite low, this exorcism is doing a ton of damage, DB, that's have the ulti going in, the oracle will fall down, the false promise won't be enough, DP uses the ulti in the last second, we need to be, need to be more careful, here comes the stormcrafter on the DP, can he survive this, DP come in from the side, where are the crits, they're not gonna be there, and with that hole will survive, the buyback from the oracle will be enough to deter army geniuses, and in the end, the 3 for 2 fight, no 2 cores do work there, this is perfect, there's a sentry, and it gets rewarded immediately, Yang on, do you really wanna be going there, can they kill the Oscar with the, uh, uh, with the Shadow Demon being in a good position, no way, he's gonna use the Glimmer, the Flicker right now. Oh, getting jumped on, he does have the A on disc, he's gonna pop, just pulling him back, that's a nice force in the back line, the Rubik has been caught, can they kill him? No ulti being used by the Oracle, and he goes down, Death Prophet getting slowed down by the Demonic Bird, he's gonna get healed up by the Oracle, among that, using the BKB, who's gonna go on, go on and turn it around onto Zorin, he has to run away right now, without the BKB, in a lot of trouble, Glimmer K, trying to keep him safe, ulti being used on the DP, and she goes down, that's the power of the Demonic Bird, she won't get killed, Zorin using the BKB on his own, gonna get taunted here, 
You're not going anywhere, my friend. Get the lead. It does have a buyback. Has to come back in. Now, Young PH doing some damage to Warmind here, but get disarmed immediately. Uses the Manta. Nice done for him. Can he overwhelm the fight? No, he can't. The Knights are spiked there. We are taking so much damage. Now, they're gonna get disarmed. Immediate loyalty from the Weaver. One was stolen. I'm not sure. They jump in onto the PL. Taking so much damage. He goes out of triple kill from among that. Pango in some trouble. Nice one buckle there. It's not gonna disarm the Weaver. Actually, it does. Rubik trying to go and get in, and he will be going down. Now with Weaver going on to the Pango. There's the Bat. Does have the Swarm Buckle. It's gonna disarm him, but in the end, they do get the kill, and the lone survivor is gonna be hard with so many buybacks being used. They still lose the fight. Immediate buyback from the Huskar. There is a way from the PL to get back into the game, but three versus five without the exorcism. How do you fight this? There is basically no way. Among that, tipping onto the outpost on the bottom lane. Uh, that's uh, pretty weird. He's going for the butterfly next, but with the Sagus, he really won't mind not having the buyback. PL can come back into the game, but can they uh, hold on long enough until this Pango is back in? It doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. 50 minutes in, Army Geniuses, they're looking quite good. They're gonna get rid of that career, and no one will be taking the, uh, the AC is quite uh, a big item for them. We're gonna use the ward here, we'll see pretty much everything. We were getting silenced, but he doesn't care, has the leveler. Look at the damage that these towers are taking. This is looking like game over here for Yangon. What can they do? The Crypt Swarm, uh, only two seconds cooldown, so Ha is trying to uh, uh, do as much damage as possible. 20 seconds until the Exorcism. They don't have the Glyph. Immediate buyback from the uh, PL. He wants to fight this, but can he do anything? Blood right being used. Is that the stolen one? Actually, no stolen ones, given that he is dead. Now they run in. They're gonna use the BKB on the DP. Immediate dead with Demonic Virtual team from the Oracle, but no heals will be coming. Young PH going in. He wants to go into the back line. Goes on to Womai. Womai does have a BKB. Turns around with a uh, Refresher. We'll have another BKB. Nice stun there from the line. PL in a lot of trouble. And Zorane calls the GG with their DP dying. The second he used the Exorcism, they have no chances to win this game anymore. And RB Geniuses will come. Will be coming out on top. Survives. UK does have that disruption as well. That's gonna help us carry too. Very nicely done. Oh, disruption being used there. Uh, didn't skill anything. Will most likely go for the waveform considering he's against the tiny. The toss back could hurt him quite a lot. But we'll see maybe if he wants to. Oh, just a second. Here comes the toss back. UK in some trouble. Do they have the lucky shot? Yes, they do. And the orb of venom as well. Sorry, taking a ton of damage. UK. No more disruption, a few more hits will do the trick, and they will get the first blood. Zorain gets it there, their uh, initial dive didn't work out, but finally they do get the first kill of the map. Now the waveform is ready, they do have the toss back if they want to use it, Mamak Daya staying inside of the trips, gonna get the avalanche on him, can he survive skill 8? No, he can't, that one more hit will drown the wood, so it's somewhat deceiving what's happening, but uh, he's getting pretty much a lot. UK getting gone on, he's already used the disruption, there is a toss, he's gonna do solid amounts of damage, UK in some trouble, doesn't have any stick charges, and now Mamang Da is gonna turn around, Zorin in some trouble, doesn't have the swashbuckle, Mamang Da look at the damage that he's doing, skill A, you have to run away with zero armor, you cannot fight this more right now, though the whirling that doesn't hurt him as much as uh, he does the like it now, they go on to Lun, they do have the stun and the hex as well, and Lun will be going down for sure, he does have that spirit siphon, not gonna be healing you that much, only a level 1, and with a level 2 shadow strike, just one more slap with the whip, they don't even need it, the shadow strike will get the kill. Oh, try to get some farm. B being relatively defensive. And BH in some trouble. They do have the shock up. This line can, will be taking a ton of damage. He doesn't have a TP, so will most likely be going down. Womai will be going in. Let's have the timber chain. Gets close there with the whirling death. Finishes off the kill. Top lane now. Tiny getting gone on once more. Bottom lane. Lim does die. To young BH. He gets killed by the summons. Tiny in some trouble. It's gonna be a stolen avalanche. We're still going for him. And with the shadow poison stacks, the demon gets the kill. Now Swatch Buckle rolling. Thunder UK are not going anywhere. And Lund gets the kill. They want to go for the morphling as well. They only have their no spirit vest just yet. Zorin is gonna take quite a lot before he can get it. We're gonna go on the Morphling, immediately goes for the TP out, and will be successful in doing so. He's actually going for the outpost. They might have been able to kill him there. A bit of a cocky TP from Mang Dai, but he'll be fine now. Just uh, morphing all into agility. We'll use the 7-1 charges and will be quite healthy for sure. Actually, is right now. Oh, I did put one uh, point in Yangon. Sorry about that, guys. Let me uh, just uh, change that up. Sorry about it. So Army Genius, they did one. Win game number one. Sorry about it. Oh, the second Zorin going for a uh, rolling thunder. No mana on the Morphling. They're coming in with the Wolf as well. They're going to be doing a ton of damage. Do have the disruption. We'll use it on the Morphling. That's very nice. The uh, 
Avalanche will get the, the turn then. Beautiful stun from the line. He comes to toss as well. Among that, taking a ton of damage. The Swatch Buckle, nice stun for Zorin. Beautiful bonus strike there in the back. And Young Peach gets that kill. Still, it's going to be a one for one. Candle, the uh, like and get out. Him and the Tiny are in quite a lot of trouble. Among that, in some trouble and getting jumped on. That's going to be a double kill for Young Peach. Now they go for the line as well. Not a lot of mana from Womai. And these Necro units doing really good job. Yang on, they get three kills. One of those being the Morphling, the most important kill on the map for sure. And Womai, they don't want to be fighting you at all. You don't have any mana. So just to let me go, Tiny doesn't really have any armor and will be going down. Tower Shot will finish him off. Morphling oh, getting gone on. He's not going for the uh, vessel just yet, Zorain. He's just gonna stay with the Urn of Shadows. Top lane, uh, the Queen of Pain getting jumped on. Hot definitely wants some revenge from that for that laning stage. Queen of Pain in some trouble. Do they have the silence? They don't, but do they have the avalanche? They're not going anywhere to DB and just getting tossed. Up in the air, his life will be taken. The spirit siphon and this and until he gets a BKB, he's pretty much useless. They burn him. Does have the hex? He has the air spike as well. Coming in with the finger, Monkey King is not going anywhere. So now the back lines there. They catch catch UK. Doesn't even get the disruption off. Oh my, being super aggressive, he will get the spirit siphon on him. Getting sucked right now. Oh no, you're not DPing here. The line is there with the air spike. They're gonna get another kill. That's gonna be a double for DP. Trying to bring this mid tower down right now. But here comes the Morphling as well. Turns into a tiny, beautiful Avatar combo with the ulti from the Queen of Pain. They get the kill immediately. This is three heroes that skill A in some trouble. Does he have the man on the Queen of Pain? The Earth Spike is there and they get the fourth one as well. It's gonna be a triple kill coming out from this Queen of Pain. And they get four heroes down just like that. Army Genius is maybe even kill him. Oh, close to the Battle Fury. Only needs the Perseverance though. Uh, definitely not the best timing considering the uh, lane that he was in. Uh, but I have to say that Ha has been doing quite well. He even joined a few fights, uh, getting some kills, getting some assists. Just a second tiny getting caught. There's the silence with the Earth Spike. He's not going anywhere. DB is on a dominating streak and Skill A will just get whipped to death. He actually liked that. Uh, he's not going to be telling it to his team, but uh, when uh, Queen of Pain uses her whip on you, it's, uh, it's hard not to be... Uh, not to be at least intrigued by what's gonna happen now. Pango coming in. He, uh, he's thinking about rolling in. Does have the spirit vessel flying to him? So maybe they can go on to Womai if they use a nice rolling thunder using now an ulti on the like and he comes the swash buckler. Rolling thunder being used. Womai is already pretty far away. Can they focus on him? In the back lines though, the like and going on to UK. Nice disruption. Tiny has been caught. There's the ulti from the Queen of Pain. He should actually be able to survive. Queen of Pain trying to get away. Will be able to blink from the side there. But the Tiny in the end does go down. Womai finishes him off. He's still doing a ton of damage. And Young PH losing his uh, wolf on right now. Actually going for limp. No, that's not the place where you want to be in right now. Hex onto the units. Now Among Dai will turn into the Death Prophet. Uses the Spirit Siphon. Slowing down the like and now turns onto the Death Prophet. You want some? No problem, my friend. I will kill you. Your wish will come through. The waveform and the hit will finish him off. That's going to be a two for one fight. This farm will be increasing by quite a lot now. They're invading the jungle. Uh, they're gonna find the Necro units. Well, I will make sure that those go down. If he does get the last hit of the Necro Warrior, all exorcism being used. They want to go in. Swan's back on the Shadow Demon. Look at that damage. The Grim Storm will finish him off. They go in onto the Dipper Saw. This would be a really big kill. Can he get out of the silence until there? And the Boundless Strike finishes him off. Queen of Pain going for a blink out. But Lion, you do not have a blink. Not in uh, built in one nor the bot one, so DB will be the only one coming out of there alive. The Morphling wasn't even close to the fight, but even if he was, I doubt he'll be able to help his team. So Yangon finally getting the fight going for them, and that's the first team to farm. Oh, Lun, what are you doing? He comes in for the wars. He's gonna be dying right now. Goes for the uh, Shadow Amulet. Where is your detection? They don't have it. He's thinking about using the ulti. There's the Swarm Buckle. Gonna go on to DB. Immediately goes for the Rolling Thunder. Pango, who do you want to go for? It's gonna be UK. He won't be able to use the Disruption, at least not yet. Another stun will follow. Here comes the Boundless Strike and Hog has the kill. Very nice return kill now. Now they're going in with the Shapeshift. They want DB. He just blinks in. He's gonna get talent up. The Young PH doing so much damage. Trying to go for the DP. All the damage is gonna be there. Yes, it will. Queen of Pain, that blink. It cost her her life, just blinks in into the uh, protected. His back is being uh, 
protected by his teammates. Skill A wants to go into the back lane now. He does have a blink dagger. Who is he looking to burst down? He can't really burst down the Shadow Demon. will go in. There's the Avalanche and the toss back. Doing some solid damage. Skill A in some trouble. There's gonna be the Soul Catcher, but the Rolling Thunder going in. Shadow Demon will use the disruption. That's gonna keep him alive a little bit. Silence onto the Lycan. He already used the Wolf Form. Queen of Pain getting silenced as well. Now Wolf, where is he running to? He's gonna go in for the line. The finger being used on the Lycan, and this Wolf will be fine. Skill A able to get away for now. He's slowed down by the Shadow Strike, but finally will survive. No, he goes for a smoke. They're gonna go for the bounce strike on the Queen of Pain. There's the Avatos combo, and no way for him to survive. Will he? Ooh, that was close in the back lines. But Mang Dai gets a double kill. The Pango dies in the end. It's a two for two right now. The line very low and will take down to the orb of corrosion. He actually corrodes there. Now silence onto the morphing. Doesn't have the man to use it immediately. He uses the uh, Shotgun on this Lycan just annihilates him. Mamangda turning into the uh, Tiny will remove this uh, Monkey from the ult. Now turning around as the Bounder Strike doing so much damage to the Morphant. Is it going to be enough? Probably not. Going for a TP out and Hall will be successful in doing so. Though this Tiny, I'm not sure he's going to have the same luck. Trying to TP away. Womai still chasing. He wants those uh, Bloodstone charges. Nice. A catch there with the shock ramp. He knows kill A is there and will get him down. Get the monkey down from the trees. Maybe he can go for the kill. Monkey is in trouble with UK coming in. Does have the demonic perch. You won't have your Jingu Master is used to the bonus strike on to something. It definitely wasn't the hero. They're gonna uh tip their Position 3, Walmart just destroying them, doesn't connect there with a the Timber Chain, but won't even be needed. He doesn't really have that much mana, 16 Bloodstone charges, now they turn around, might be getting the skill. Rolling Thunder, very nice to use, nice dodges there from Walmart, but you're not going anywhere, my friend, with the Spirit Vessel. Finally, he goes down and Lun is gonna be the one claiming that kill. Doesn't even need the Crypt Swarm to finish him off, it's gonna not done. Lim does have a blink, if they get on top of someone, Zorain, that's a perfect target, he's gonna get turned into a frog. Now the shotgun, it's gonna be there, and he gets annihilated, but so does this line, they're going in on the skill aid. There's gonna be a stolen toss. The silence will come out onto the morphling. No manta right now. Can they get another silence from Young PH? Doesn't have the orchid. Monk Dai needs to get out of here, but he doesn't have a TP. No DB here. He's threatening with the Sonic Wave. Does have a BKB. Monk Dai turns around onto Lun. Lun is taking a ton of damage. Has the Assist Ring and will be fine. They're still going in. Avatar's combo onto the both of them. DB goes in with the BKB. Sonic Wave will connect, but uh, that almost missed. Now the silence onto the Death Prophet. They turn around onto Queen of Pain. All doing so much damage. He doesn't have the Primal Sprinkler, so he can't chase the, the, the uh, Queen of Pain. Since they don't care, they feel super confident. The BKB is ready on the Queen of Pain skill A. That's a perfect first target. Can they get on top of him? Nope. They just deny that one. Silence onto the Pangolier. Does he have any defensive items? Has the bottle illusions, but not gonna be happening. Blink out from the tiny. He's gonna be able to save himself from the E-Blade. Now Monkey King staying on the tree there. DB think about going in. Now, like an ult being used, he wants to eat up the supports. Womai making sure that these supports survive and will be successful in doing so. Shadow. Demon this time around, you will survive. Bound the strike not being used here onto DB. DB still has the blink. Lim going in. Lun in some trouble. There's gonna be the hex and the fall up birds back in the back lines. Also the tiny there on the left. DB is whipping him into obedience. Doesn't have the ulti, so this tiny should survive at least for now. He cannot blink out because of the shadow strike, and he'll be going down as well. On top of that, DP, that's gonna be three kills for the side of army geniuses. Very nice fight coming out from them and immediately going to the Roche. This monkey just can't get the nice Wukong's command and young PH are uh, getting caught, turned into a little frog. His mana taking, being taken away. He doesn't have a DP now and DB will definitely be getting the skill. He's gonna silence the Queen of Pain immediately uses the BKB. He knows that he could be in trouble. They're gonna turn around with the wolves and here comes Hulk. He does have the bounder strike ready. Though, from the other side, the Shadow Demon is coming and now Monkey King in some trouble, he's gonna get disrupted. Meanwhile, the Aegis has been taken, goes for the BKB, bounce strike, it's actually gonna be on the Queen of Pain and they get the kill. Zorain will be the one claiming that one, but they lose. <clears throat> lose Monkey King going for an S and Y, it seems like his next item will be the Sky. I definitely like this one. The Lycan being caught and with the shotgun goes down, the finger will help, help as well. And now, among that, going for the tier 3, they do have the glyph, so that's gonna deter them a little bit. Whoever he call, goes on will be taking so much damage, the Queen of Pain is on top, mind you, and they can't do anything, the shotgun is there, but the Glimmer Cave, give me a save, nicely done, they are actually gonna be able to burn him down, Hawk uh, doesn't have a bound of strike, but can they get enough lockdown on him, the nice disruption coming out from the Shadow Demon, nice positioning, he's gonna be able to wait for Mountain, without the Wukong's command, they definitely don't have enough damage, here comes the Swan Buckle, nice DP away, they're gonna toss the Timber Saw back in, he has the BKB, 19 Bloodstone charges, you really can't kill Nice act there onto the tiny, doing so much damage to him with a uh, timber chain. They'll finish him off. Oh, he's gonna be fighting Momai right now with the bounce strike across the face. Timber, so much armor, but it doesn't help you against the damage of the tiny. Still uses the bloodstone with 19, or actually 20 stick charges. It's gonna be healing him quite a lot. Actually, in the end, that uh, spirit vessel gonna be 
taking some of that heal away. Now, DP, he might be too deep in. He, deep in, he blinks into the uh, trees, but with the Eclipse Storm will be going down. Now, Shadow Demon being eaten by the Lycan. This is not looking good anymore for you. Lim getting caught. Do they have anything to cancel that? No, the Avalanche has already been used, and they do lose two heroes, but so much has been expanded here by Yangon. They use all of their spells, so if they want to go in once more, the second Morphling, he might be in some trouble. Do they have any Spirit Vessel charges? Yes, they do have to. No man on him just yet. We'll be getting it right now. Here comes the Monkey King with the Bounder Strike, starting him once more. Avalanche is there with a uh, Manta. He gets out. He gets out of the science as well. Does have the waveform in just a second. Turns into a Pango. Can he get the Swarm buckle off? Trying to get out. Gets to the side. A nice Crypt Swarm. Can he die? No, he can't. Going for a TP away. A Monk dies out. Beautifully done by him. That uh, 18k, it's looking insurmountable. Yangon going for a smoke. This is one of those smokes that you have to go for. It's really not the desperation smoke just yet. But uh, if they lose this fight convincingly, I could see Yangon just, uh, just calling it right now. Shadow Demon will be in trouble. They blink in with the Queen of Pain. He's gonna silence the light and light. Doesn't have anything to remove that. A nice Sonic Wave is gonna do so much damage, but not enough. Oh my, we'll get a nice kill. But the Shadow Demon will follow as well. Rolling Thunder actually not connecting onto anyone. He will go into the Wukong's command. They used everything here, and they didn't get anything. The Lycan still has the shapeshifts. He got something going their way, but no Necro units. Now here comes Oh my, look at that. Level 25 talent. He wants to go in, uses the BKB now with the Flamethrower as well. Elon Musk is in, wants to kill them, but he does have the Glimmer Cape. Now, ulti being used by the Lycan. He's a nice fast frog. That would be really, really scary to see in real life a frog running at 750 MS. But buyback now from the Shadow Demon is going to make sure that uh, the Pango goes down. With that, the Roche will be claimed for sure by them. Two heroes dead on the side of Yangon. There is a buyback on the Pangolier. The other doesn't care about that. Actually, doesn't even get hit. As the Manta to remove the uh, uh, disarm. Does he really want to use it? Not using it just yet. Threatening with the Rolling Thunder. Pango He's like, I can go for you if you're not careful. But still, going through the ages and killing him once more is definitely going to be a big task for them. Did they manage to cut the creep wave? Not really. And Morphling will be able to get down this Rex. He's got the disruption. They're going to go in. They go in for the Morphling. Still morphing into the agility. Toss him back. He uses the BKB and out turns around with a Satanic. You wanted to kill me. I'm going to show you how it's done. Though, like, and in the back line, trying to kill the lion. Nice turn around with a finger. They're going to destroy him. Now, Skill A is in trouble as well. But Monk Dai, he's getting way too much. Doesn't even need the E Blade. Two heroes are dead just like that without buyback. Yangon, what can you do? They still have the Wukong command and the Exorcist already. No Rolling Thunder, though. Maybe, just maybe, Army Geniuses do overextend. Oh, whoa, Mike, he finds the Monkey King perfectly. You're not going anywhere, huh? And he just died without using any of his spells. That's going to be it for Yangon without any of their cores alive. They're going to be in so much trouble using the Exorcism, but they've had enough. Zorane comes back into his uh, base. He's not going to be following Lon, not going to be a good teammate. It just calls GG. It will be the lone survivor with a tail between his legs. Not really a manly way to go out. Yangon, they lose the series 2-0 and Army Geniuses.